Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, and today I'll be showing you how to control your canvas while you're creating animations and games in the Wick Editor so that you can more effectively create your projects. This tutorial is going to be focused on all of the canvas transformations on the canvas transformations menu in the bottom right of the drawing area. So going from left to right, our first option is onion skinning. Now what onion skinning does is it allows us to see what we've drawn previously and what we've drawn after the current frame that we have selected. If I click on onion skinning, you'll see that it highlights and now I can drag my playhead around and start to see little shadows or onion skins of the stuff I've drawn previously. So now that I'm on the second frame, I can see what I've drawn on the first frame. Uh, and let's say that I drew something on the second frame, like maybe a slightly different cross. Like if I wanted to create a little shaky animation of a cross, um, I'll be able to see an outline of what's on the other frame incredibly useful for animation and drawing little effects um, in your games. The next tool that we have access to is the pan tool. Now, if you click on the pan tool, um, it'll activate and it'll allow you to move the canvas around in any, in any way that you'd um, like. Now, the pan tool can also be activated by clicking on the space bar. So if you're drawing, let's say I have the brush open and I want to draw and then, oh, I need to get a little bit to the side, I can hold the space bar really quick and activate the um, pan tool that way. So that's pretty useful. Um, the pan tool is, you know, really awesome for being able to get some more um, detail and control over where you're drawing in your project. The next series of tools we have are the zoom tools. Now, um, if we click on the main zoom tool, this little magnifying glass icon over here, um, we'll be able to select different parts of our canvas to zoom into. So if I press with the left click button, I can actually get closer and closer and zoom in. If I hold alt and press, I can actually zoom out. Um, and I can also create little selection areas with the zoom tool to zoom in to very specific parts of the canvas. Um, I can also use these zoom in and zoom out buttons, these plus and minus buttons next to the magnifying glass to either zoom out or zoom in by set amounts. Now, let's say that I've panned my canvas and I've zoomed in somewhere and I have no idea where I am. This is actually pretty common uh, with beginners. You might get lost uh, in the drawing area and that's okay. We have our last tool on this bar is the recenter tool. And if you click that, it'll jump you back to the main, um, main area of your canvas. It'll zoom out to 100%. That way you can kind of recenter yourself and not get stuck in kind of a lost state. And that's all we have for Canvas Transformations. If you like this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button down below. Leave a comment, let me know what tutorials you'd like to see next. And if you'd like to support the Wick Editor, head on over to our Patreon page where you can become a patron, um, give us a donation, and that donation is going to be used to support the development of the Wick Editor and keep this free and open source tool running as smoothly as possible. Thanks again, and we hope to see you in the next tutorial.